Hi, in this more and more global technocratic world, where non-democratically elected NGOs and billionaires increasingly influence our everyday lives, to put it mildly, we must expect influencing in information war tactics everywhere. Also, neural networks from machine learning are decades old, within a few years deep learning revolutionized science and society. Deep learning is essentially a large neural network with hundreds of thousands or more parameters trained by big data and processed on huge parallel computing architectures, either to classify images or recognize faces or voices or to guide uh, self-driving cars. However, how it is in science, just within a few years, the deep learning has been turned against people as evident from China or basically everywhere else now. Deep fakes are a specific threat. They're based on lots of video material of a person like a politician. A mapping can be established between an actor saying and doing something to the politician. So a politician can be made saying things he or she wouldn't do normally. To combat this, we have to be able to trust certain media sources. And of course, seeing video material with witnesses in them helps as well. However, just looking at video material, I think we can still trust human intuition and our gut feeling. This is I wanted to go into briefly. Here we see a recent video of Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, giving essentially an advertisement for the UN 75 years anniversary. Let's have a quick look. Geehrter Herr Präsident, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, vor 75 Jahren wurden die Vereinten Nationen gegründet. Vorausgegangen waren der von Deutschland begangene Zivilisationsbruch der Shoah und der von Deutschland entfesselte Zweite Weltkrieg. Nach dem Ende a little bit of German guilt and uh, she's saying things against the nation states that they can't solve any problems and that hunger was reduced. Uh, also, as we now know, the COVID-19 pandemic will cause starvation in large parts of the world. So it's all basically propaganda, to say it mildly, advertisement for the UN. But this is not the point of this video. When I look at this video, and I might well be wrong, I don't get a sense that this is really Angela Merkel standing in front of me. It's more a gut feeling, it's my intuition that something is not right. It reminds me of CGI and we want to look into this a little bit more deeply here. What is intuition? These are feelings or thoughts which bypass conscious thought, they are much faster. Um, it's a gut feeling in a sense. And of course you have to question where this comes from. However, the more we think about it rationally, the more it disappears. Besides gut feeling, we could also call it first impressions. And let's slow it down. So what is the issue here? So I immediately see potential issues here. The shade uh, behind her arm and her hand is very blurry. The texture is missing. So whenever something moves, of course, it's much harder to be reconstructed by a computer correctly. Another thing is the shade here around her blazer on her neck is uh, problematic. It's blurry. It's the color doesn't seem right. And there are a few other things. So the shade on the button is odd. Um, it turns green when her thumb comes. So here the, the button disappeared and it became green. That's a potential issue that the button was not resolved by the computer anymore or reconstructed correctly. It looks very blurry, that's already suspicious. In particular, problematic areas are around the eyes, uh, which are not very, very resolved. Above her mouth, which is not very resolved, it's blurry. So this is potentially problematic when you use an existing video of, let's say, Angela Merkel, and an actor now speaks something and the mouse part is only replaced and remodeled. Problematic areas are also her left side of the neck because the color of the background is very similar, so that becomes very blurry. The computer potentially can't resolve that or reconstruct it correctly. The right sleeve down here is not resolved. And this is again because the background has very similar color. It's in the light. So the shades are generally well reconstructed if the light comes from the right. But here it's such a light area that the sleeve is not resolved. And another thing is the right side down here, her, uh, sorry, her left elbow. Uh, where the green is so dark as that it blends in with the greenish background. So here the folds of the sleeve are not very well resolved. So you see here 
It's very blurry and the texture is unresolved. Here again, not resolved, not resolved. It's it's bleeding here, the color. You see? Here as well. Now that she moves, her face is presumably also harder to reconstruct. So again, her eyes and mouth become very blurry, her left eye in particularly. Another thing I noticed is one of her idiosyncrasies is to do the steepling position, which indicates uh, dominance, power or, or insight. In small amounts, it can be a very positive gesture, but uh, she, she overdoes it and it makes her look arrogant. But she doesn't do it in this video at all. Let's look at another video, recent video at normal speed, again in German. She talks about the global corona crisis and she does a lot of steepling position. Also, it's very blurry as well. She appears much more natural here. She looks quite old and more realistic. The contours are quite sharp. The problem is generally when you have a low resolution video set, it's much harder to detect a fake video. It can be covered up by the imperfections of the video. Here another one which is much sharper and it's also with English subtitles. Here she presumably sits in the Paul Löwe building across from the German parliament, the Reichstag building. And again, she does a steepling position and she looks much older. You know, she has this streaky hair. She looks tired, um, potentially afraid. And of course here she's wearing more makeup. So we would expect this in someone being in front of the camera. Let's look at it for a second. Das Coronavirus verändert zurzeit das Leben in unserem Land dramatisch. Unsere Vorstellung von Normalität, von öffentlichem Leben, von sozialem Miteinander, all das wird auf die Probe gestellt wie nie zuvor. So also Merkel is known for being very static and stoic um, in her behavior. In this video and the previous one I showed, she moves around more. Millionen von ihnen können nicht zur Arbeit. Ihre Kinder können nicht zur Schule. So there was movement all over. Here's another picture of an original or deep fake. So I don't get a sense that this is a living person. It looks fake. It looks like CGI. It looks like a cartoon a little bit. And um, this gut feeling I also get with the Angela Merkel video. Here's another funny one where Dr. Phil's face is projected on various people he interviewed. This is just to make another point where we can see where deep fakes are failing. He sent away. You want me in just bad? Put me in jail. <laughs> so um, here's a deep fake fails because there's something unusual happens. There's a hand and the cigarette and the smoke and the eye twitches. And here's a deep learning can't reconstruct Dr. Phil's face. The mapping doesn't work. It's too unusual. It doesn't match what the algorithm has learned. What you think you're doing that contributes to this chaos and this problem? I don't behave and disrespectful. I steal cars. I steal her credit card. I ain't gonna lie, there's no reason to lie. So here, when she moved the head a lot, then the deep learning had difficulties to reconstruct the face. There's also this unnatural uh, CGI-like feeling. So I don't get a sense that this is a real person. <laughs> Here again, when the face turns a lot, which is at an unusual angle, since the deep learning can't reconstruct. Here as well, totally fake, doesn't work. It's glitching even. Of this. Here, of course, it completely fails. Unusual angle, it can't reconstruct. Okay, so I hope this was insightful and talk to you next time. Bye.